That's right. We're here in Portsmouth where Congresswoman Carol Shea Porter will be holding a gathering a little bit later on tonight. But as you can see, it's pretty quiet here right now. But I think things are going to change very soon. Like many candidates, Shea Porter spent Election Day out and about speaking to voters, pushing her message one final time. She took her family along today as she voted in her hometown of Rochester. According to our latest poll, Shea Porter and Republican challenger Frank Ginta are neck and neck. And this is a very familiar road for both candidates since they have both held this seat. Shea Porter says she wants to continue to work hard for the middle class. She believes the seat is better off in her hands. The biggest difference is that I've been talking and working for the middle class from the very beginning, and Frank Inta, you know, had supported the Tea Party agenda, and it was pretty tough on New Hampshire. So a lot of programs get hurt. We saw, you know, jobs lost, and there's a big difference. I look at this area, you know, grew up in it, love, love this area, and very, very invested in making sure that people do well. Shea Porter won for the first time in 2006, and tonight she is going to be surrounded by all the supporters that have been with her since then. We will have much more from Portsmouth tonight as election night continues. For now, let's send it over to Heather Hamill. She's live in Manchester at Frank Inta headquarters. Hi, Heather. Hi, Kristen. Well, here at the Radisson, Frank Inta is hoping that he'll be giving a victory speech tonight. But remember, he's been down this road before. It was just two short years ago that he lost this very seat, so he is not taking anything for granted. Now, today he was out bright and early voting in Manchester. Today is the third time Ginta has faced off against Congresswoman Carol Shea Porter. The 44 year old held the seat from 2010 to 2012. He is a former Manchester mayor and legislator, and he says he is focused on growing the middle class, repealing and replacing the Affordable Care Act, and helping small businesses, and he feels that his bipartisan approach will reach the voters. We've run a very strong campaign. We're looking forward to representing the 1st Congressional District. Uh, six years of Carol Shea Porter, I think the people would like something different. They'd like to focus on jobs and economy, things that are going to help the middle class and help everyday Granite Staters here in the state, and that's what I'm set out to do. Now, while Ginta was feeling very confident coming into Election Day, he said that he wasn't going to just take it easy today. In fact, he was working the phones. He had a telephone town hall trying to get to all those voters that were still undecided at the very last minute. Reporting live in Manchester, Heather Hamill, WMUR News 9.